Our little rod just got hit right here, y'all. Let's see if he's on. Yep. Oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> right here next to the shore. Hey, that's a fighter, dude. What's happening, folks? Welcome back to another beautiful day here in Pensacola, Florida. We are headed right now to one of my favorite beaches where I have caught some monster fish in the past. So I am super excited to see what I can catch. Now, if you are new to this channel, my name's Brant. I do most of my fishing along the Florida Gulf Coast right here, Pensacola, Perdido Key, Novar. So that is what you're gonna get when you come to this channel. What a beautiful morning out here. There's lots of bait on top everywhere. A few fish bust in the surface, not many. Tons of boats headed out today. This is where we're gonna start. So let's go ahead, get set up, see if we can get a big bite. Folks, I am gonna start with this big, fresh ladyfish head right here that I was able to catch. There he is. Oh, this is a good one here. Oh, it's a lady. There, there's a complete blitz on the beach with bluefish and ladyfish right now. Like an absolute blitz. Come here, come here, come here. All right. There's bait right there, y'all. Big old ladyfish. Put him out on my big pin slammer with my 12-foot ninja dagger surf rod and see if we can't get a big bite early. <sighs> one rod down. Let's get another one out there. So I'm going to take my little small rod right here, too, while we're waiting. Put a little piece of shrimp on there. And just cast it right here in the surf and see if we can catch anything. I want to have all angles covered. You never know. I'm just going to pitch it right here, really close to shore. Set it right there in the pier cart. Now we got three rods going. <laughs> I'm going to chunk this spoon around right here and see if I can get us some more fresh bait. There's lots of bait in the surf, so there should be... You would think fish chasing if it looks like greenies, white bait, LY, whatever you want to call them. A lot of boat traffic too, so that could be a, that could definitely affect the bite. Our little rod just got hit right here, y'all. Let's see if he's on. Yep. Oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> right here next to the shore. Hey, that's a fighter, dude. What do I got? Oh, <laughs> there's a nice whiting, guys. Heck, yeah. Definitely not a monster fish like we were after, but a very good table fare fish right here and also great bait, so I'm going to keep him for either food or bait. Folks, don't forget to stay tuned throughout this whole video because at some point in this video, we are going to do our 200,000 subscriber giveaway, and that is just to show my appreciation, so stay tuned for that. Oh, we're getting another little bite on the little rod. Come here, buddy. Yep, oh yeah, fish on. There we go. There we go. Oh, another whiting. <laughs> These whiting are literally probably two or three feet from shore, guys. I mean, they are right here next to the beach. Pretty little thing. All I'm doing is putting a little piece of shrimp on a small circle hook and tossing it out. Great way to pass the time while we are waiting on bigger fish. All right, and I'm just going to sit here and hold this one because the bite has been really quick. Oh, yep, I just got bit. Ah, he came off. <laughs> that didn't take but a second. I don't think I've, well, I don't know. I don't think I've caught a whiting all year. I haven't really targeting, targeted them, but yeah, I don't think I've caught one this year. Oh, there's a bite. Yep, there he goes. I got him. Oh yeah, Ooh, that's a better one there. Come on, buddy. Oh yeah, now that's a pretty good eater right there. 
If I get a little mess of these, I may eat me some whiting. They fry up really, really nicely. Oh, there's another one. Golly, man. It is a stellar whiting bite. <laughs> As soon as I get it out there, we're on. Oh, come on, baby. This guy is pretty small, so we're gonna release him. But nonetheless, what a way to pass the time while your big baits are out there, huh? Take this better one down here and put him in the cooler before Fred gets him. Guys, we're gonna try a big fresh cut piece of whiting here just to get some really fresh bait out there. We have yet to get a bite on the big rod. There we go. Oop, there he is. Yeah, come on. There he is. Guys, this is a prime example right here why you always bring shrimp with you when you're beach fishing. Now, this is just a little guy He's not a big one, but think about it, okay? We're not getting any other bites at the moment. <clears throat> Woo, come here. Hey, we're gonna let him go. We're not getting any other bites at the moment. And so because I brought shrimp with me, it's given us an opportunity to catch some fish. And not only catch some fish, catch some very good tasting fish for that matter. Come here, little bugger. Come here, little bugger. Ah. You can catch one right now, every single cast. <laughs> Another thing I like to do sometimes, guys, to get the bigger ones to bite is bury the hook in the shrimp like that. See how I've covered my hook completely? That seems to work good for bites. Oh, there's a bite as soon as I get it out there. There he is, there's a good one. Oh, that may be the best one yet. <laughs> yeah, that's a real nice one. Come here, come on buddy, get on up here. Get on up here, right, that's a keeper for sure there. Keep a few of these to eat, because they are delicious. Funny how a little trick like that, hiding that hook. Oh, there's a bite, can really help you. There he is. Come here. There we go. Another little guy. Oh, there's a bite. Yep, there he is. I got him. Come on, buddy. Oh yeah. Check it out y'all, beautiful whiting. We have not gotten one big bite the whole day. I've got live pinfish out now. I have cut bonita. I have cut whiting <laughs> at four different rods and we haven't got a bite all day. But that is a good lesson, all right? Always come prepared for anything. So I did bring those shrimp today and I was able to not get skunked because I had those shrimp. That is the fruits of my labor right there, folks. So we're not breaking any records today. We're not winning any tournaments. We didn't catch any big fish, but you know what? That is okay because we're about to eat us some fresh whiting and whiting fried is some of the best fish that you can eat. So we do have our 200,000 subscriber giveaway coming up after I take a few bites of this fish. That's fresh. For me being a content creator, going out there and fishing every week, you're gonna run into different scenarios every single trip. And so one thing that can really help you be more successful is being able to be prepared for anything and everything. And a beach cart really helps with that if you're land-based fishing, because I can bring four or five rods, and that way if I get out there one day and the redfish are biting and I was targeting whiting, then I can switch and grab my redfish rod real quick. Or if I'm targeting sharks 
and the Whitinger body, I've got shrimp and, and a little whiting rod that I can, I can still have a successful trip. And so that's super important when you're out there fishing is being able to, it's like a professional bass fisherman. When they're fishing a tournament, those guys have like eight rods on the front of the boat where they can grab one during any situation. And I feel like that that is something that really can separate you and make you a really good fisher, fisherman is if you can, is, is speed. If you can grab a rod real quick and throw on a fish that you see that you didn't know was going to be there, then you can really be successful. So folks, we are giving away a brand new Frog Togs Tackle Box. We are also putting $100 worth of retail fishing lures and tackle in this tackle box for you. And we are gonna put a gift card in there and that gift card is good for one fishing trip with me on the beach to film a YouTube video. And so if that is something that you're interested in, then you will get not only the tackle box and the tackle, but you'll get the opportunity to come down and fish with me and be in a YouTube video. I get asked more on my channel, hey, how can we fish with you? It's impossible to let everyone fish with us, but I do think on special occasions, it is good to invite subscribers down to fish with us. And so this giveaway is going to be just that. All you gotta do is I'm gonna pin a comment. You comment done under the pinned comment. We're gonna draw names next video. And that's it. Simple as that. Other than that, folks, we'll catch you next time.